She is one of Hollywood's hottest and sexiest actresses. Now, many of you may have recently seen Gabrielle Union strolling the streets of Atlanta. She spent months here filming the movie Daddy's Little Girls. But Gabrielle told me even with all her success, she is still that down-home girl from Omaha, Nebraska. We don't mind us. We're just having sex. Oh, so I should just come back in, what, two minutes? On screen, actress Gabrielle Union is smart. Why don't you just ask me if I'm wearing a wire? Sexy, and sometimes not so nice. I know you didn't think a white girl made that. But you're always this strong, take charge <clears throat> lady. Yeah. Do you worry sometimes about being typecast? I don't mind being typecast as a strong, <laughs> take charge person. I'm okay with that. Um, I'd be more concerned if, I, if people saw me as a victim and wanted to see that all the time. That would be more nerve-wracking to me. Tell me one of your favorite fantasies. There's a plastic pony. There's these baby chickens. I have on some chaps. You go first. I gotta work my out. With her beauty, you might think acting was an easy career choice for Gabrielle. But this UCLA honors grad was headed to law school when another opportunity changed her life. You went into modeling as a fluke because you were an intern at a modeling agency, and the next thing, they're offering you a job. Yeah. Why were you kind of hesitant to do modeling? Because I thought it was cheesy. I was like, that's not a real profession, you know? I thought it was for vain girls who needed to be validated for their looks. And <laughs> honestly, that's what I really thought. And then um, I was like, oh, you pay for the? Oh, great. Um, so that's what it, what it really started out, you know, as. And. Uh, very quickly, you know, they were like, well, wow, that happened really quick. I booked my first modeling job within two days. And um, uh, two weeks later, I, they sent me on an audition. They're like, well, don't tell anybody you don't know what you're doing. You know, they made up a resume, and I went in and I booked the first audition that I ever went on and just kept going. <laughs> Nothing seems to challenge you in that sense. Oh, it, oh I, now it does. Yeah. Now it, it does? does? It does, yeah. Oh, How? Yeah. You know, there's projects that I, you have to be really in touch with yourself and your emotions and your truest self or the self that you would like to be. And, you know, it's, it's a little, sometimes it's tough to look yourself in the mirror and not only look yourself in the mirror, but then reveal it to the world. Where have you really done that? In Daddy's Little Girls is probably one of the f first times. <clears throat> What'd you say your name was again? Julia. I ain't got a white girl name. Okay, now we're supposed to be nice. It, it, it was a little nerve-wracking because it's like if they don't like certainly that particular scene they don't like me because <laughs> it's not it, it was so much of me and, and what I had been going through and, uh, and these it was incredibly scary. challenging and if you aren't really prepared to deliver like that what every time it? out then you're not really an artist you're not really an actor your dad at your mom. I'm yeah. curious. Has there ever been a role where you were a little afraid to tell them? Because I can kind of think of one at least. Were you a little afraid to tell them about it? There's only one. And <laughs> yes. And he didn't talk to me for five months. <gasps> Cradle to the grave. And the movie itself is fine. It's just that one scene. It was like, I was okay with being a jewel thief, but a lap dancing jewel thief, that's where it just took a turn. And Because when I signed up for the project, it did that, that scene did not exist. So we were already a month into filming. And I didn't understand the power of no. And sometimes, you know, you, you know, certainly early in your career, you, 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 you make decisions based out of fear. And that's all I needed. One time, you know, I, and I don't judge anybody else. You know, what, what you choose to do is, is great for you. But I like when my dad talks to me. And I like that my dad can go to work with his head held high and not be embarrassed. How has that upbringing, even though I know you, most of your upbringing was done in California, but how has that Midwestern affected you and who you are? It's like humility. Um, kind of that whole idea of hard work, having a great work ethic, having a sense of family, having a sense of, a sense of faith. Um, you know, my parents sent me back to Omaha every summer for three months, so until I was 18. <laughs> so I always felt like I was from both places because our whole family is in Omaha. And um, they always wanted me to know my family and know my cousins and know where I came from and know who, to know who I was, have a great sense of self. Action! She also has had a great sense of responsibility. Gabrielle says that is why she openly talks about being a victim of rape. It happened when she was 19 years old. I've never felt like it was brave or, or courageous or anything like that. It's just my responsibility. Um, you know, I've been talking about it now for seven years. 
Um, and, and it, having it come full circle with, with Oprah was huge because it was her show that literally saved my life when it was happening. I had just seen a show that she'd done about what to do in case you're a victim of a violent crime. I'd seen it like a week or so before it happened. So to be able to come back on Oprah and she replayed that segment, that's what kind of messed me up a little bit. Um, and to be able to tell my story and, and know that and, and actually know that I'm helping women and men um, know that they're not alone, know that they're not crazy, know that it's a process, know that you can overcome adversity. Um, that was huge. That was huge. But I don't look at it as brave at all. Just my part of my job. What? You know? No, that's not part of your job. It is. If, if you are a conscientious person who has access to the media, then it's not, it's not brave. It's, it's what you should do. Relax. Sid, are there drugs oh. in that truck? There's cash. Where's it going? I can't tell you. Why not? Because I have a career, and if I want to keep it, I have rules to follow. What's that supposed to mean? It means that my orders are under no circumstances share information with Miami PD because they got too many leaks. She is strong-willed and determined. Those are just two of the personality traits that help to keep Gabrielle.